New tonight, an elderly World War II vet is in the hospital with a broken neck, and witnesses are blaming it on a fight with an Orlando police officer. That fight happened late last night in the 1800 block of North Orange Avenue. Fox 35 spoke to witnesses who saw it all happen. Next thing I know, he put both hands on the cop's shoulder, not in an aggressive manner. The cop picked him up, flipped him in the air, and dropped him on his head. Melissa Depani is live in Orlando with more. Melissa, this was all over the man's car being towed, is that right? Yeah, that's right. This veteran is 84-year-old Daniel Daly. He was parked here in this parking lot on North Orange Avenue just across the street from the Caboose Bar, which is where he was hanging out, and he saw his car being towed. He came outside and tried to stop it, and that is when things got tense. Now, Orlando police say that Daly was intoxicated and kept touching the officer. Then they say that Daly tried to punch the officer. But witnesses tell us that Daly's son, or witnesses told Daly's son that the 84-year-old only put his hands on the officer officer's shoulder. Now, police say that the officer was defending himself and brought that 84-year-old to the ground. Seeing that he was injured, an ambulance was called to rush Daly to the hospital. Daly's son says that his father's injuries are substantial. He's in the uh, neurocritical care unit at Florida Hospital, and that his uh, C1 vertebrae has been dislocated, I believe is the term they used. Uh, I was also told that nine out of ten people that have this injury do not walk away from the impact. Now, Orlando police say that Daly is being charged with battery on a law enforcement officer, which is a felony. Greg Daly says that his dad will undergo surgery tomorrow for his injuries that he sustained in this incident. Live in Orlando, Melissa Dapani, Fox 35 News at 10.